matches that we're standing by for this morning. Botswana take on Eswatini. Down here at the pitch side, it's bitterly cold. I can tell you that much. When I got here to the pitch the, this morning to the ground, up from the commentary box, I couldn't see anybody because around about 10 or 15 meters in front of you, you're blinded because of all the mist. Let's have a look at the pitch. That's what we're here for. Um, the, it's a used pitch. It's day three, so there's quite a bit of wear and tear. There is a bit of grass as well, and uh, there's quite a bit of wear and tear as far as bowlers' foot marks are concerned. Let's have a look at the foot marks. There we go. That's from the bowlers' run-ups, and as they follow through, and umpires, of course, when you get to day three, they will start keeping an eye on the bowlers, so they follow through off the pitch and don't run onto the pitch. The as far as um, the bounce is concerned, I think there's going to be a little bit of tackiness. There will be some bounce. There will be definitely a bit of moisture in the pitch this morning. There's no doubt about that. So bowlers will utilize that. Batters are going to have to just be a little bit watchful this morning. Maybe just have a look for the first two or three overs. The outfield, is there's going to be a lot of moisture in the outfield. So let's have a look at this. This is the where the bowlers will run through. And you can see here it's quite wet. So I'm just going to touch down here and have a look. It's my hands completely wet. So as far as bowlers running, as they're running, especially the new ball bowlers and the quick bowlers are going to have to just be a little bit careful with their footing because it is quite wet. The outfield, I can tell you, I've spoken to some of the players for the first hour or so, as the ball gets hit into the outfield, that ball gathers a lot of moisture and, it, and so they're going to have to find a way to keep that ball as dry as they possibly can. So. That's the story here from the middle. Welcome to the toss. It's match five between Botswana and Eswatini. With me, I've got Karamo, Karabo Matlanka, the captain of Botswana, and Adil Bhatt from Eswatini, and as well as uh, the match referee, Machil Muller, who's going to take care of all the other proceedings. Head. Heads was a call. It's heads. It's heads. OK, Adil, you've won the toss? Yeah, we're going to ball first. The reason for that? Because they have a lot of most of the wicket and outfield is wet, we're going to advantage for get, quite looking for swing. Uh, probably would have had a ball as well, but we'll just take it as it comes. The news from the middle is Eswatini have won the toss and decided to bowl first. This is the Botswana side, Karaba Mutlanka up front, the captain, Totiana Chose getting another opportunity at number three. Then it's that middle order, bearing in mind that this is the important one for them, Botswana needing to win it and staying in that number two position behind Malawi. Amir Said, Karaba Modise bowled beautifully and batted beautifully on day two for Botswana. And a look at Eswatini, the one change made by the captain and coach. Shazad Patel comes into the attack. But the uh, top order remains the same. Safwan Badia, Christian Forbes, Terence Sandeep will need to stand up because they looked in all sorts of trouble, Eswatini, in their first outing. And in particular, that middle order will need to fire at some point. The two standing umpires this morning, Alfias Khawi on your left and uh, the tall of the two, Alicio Chitsonzo. From Botswana, yeah. making their way to the middle. Adil Butt, the skipper, he'll be uh, opening the bowling. Amir Sayed, just the one match, got to a very impressive 17. So Amir about to take strike. Adil Butt will start the proceedings here on the third morning. Exactly where he needs to be. The edge. I think the bat may have just brushed the ground, the toe end of the bat. Exactly the angle he's looking for. Push it across the right, the left hand or other. He's got the one slip in a gully fielder. Oh, he's got a bit of lift. That surprised Amir, no doubt. Good delivery, good over so far from Adil. They could possi possibly be dictating play here. The conditions are very favorable. There he gets the ball to cut more than a shade away from the left-handed Amir. So a wonderful start. A maiden over for Adil, but not for naught after one. Omar Kasim. But it's short outside the off stump and doesn't bother to run. That's a wonderful stroke. And how well it went and wanting to exploit the conditions on offer. And it's just given a freebie to Odisa to get his innings going. Right on the back foot, everything behind it. Come on! 
That must be delivery. Now, why would he have removed the slip? He's got a white stance. You've got to be quick on your feet there. He's gone for the big hit, and this is well placed. Well, it's a wonderful bit of shot selection. And he's got his first boundary. So both Amir and Carabo have registered boundaries. Score eight for no. The length slightly fuller this time around. And so just slightly clears that front foot to get underneath the ball, use that bottom hand, and just drill it down the ground. Might just need to pull that length again. This is well played. There is a fielder in the deep, but it's wide of him, and it's gone all the way for six. That is a magnificent hook from Amir. And it looks like a shot he's very comfortable with. Look at the head, the position, getting in line, and just swinging across the line. Good delivery to end the over. Let's hit the bat first. <laughs> Wonderful support from Corcom in that uh, they're bringing live television or taking these competitions to over 200 countries around the world. He's forced him to a defensive stroke. This is much better from Omer. 18 without loss after four. That's a really well played stroke. He played it with the turn. Absolutely brilliant with anything pitched in that region, short or up. Short arm jab wasn't the shortest of deliveries, as that picture will show, but into position very quickly. So it will drive the speech. This is magnificently played. Short outside the off stump. And a fine stroke player is uh, Amir Saeed. He's dispatched anything loose. And that's a sign of a very good batsman. Signs of a very good batter, that is. Gets himself into position. Finds the gap, well aware of the protection that the bowler has. Short, it's taken the top edge, but it's going to clear the boundary. And that's the power of the man. He top edges it for six all over. Yeah, he enjoyed that. He's been waiting for that one. Freed the arms, was worried for a second. There is a field out there. Who might have thought for a second is in with a chance, but the first maximum of the day. Short outside the off stump. And a bit of a misfield, perhaps maybe an awkward bounce off those side pitches, runs away for a boundary. Or does he, in fact, just uh, haul it in inside? After having made his debut in 2019, playing in the... Uh, Again, very well struck, but this is going to go away for four. Former runs of this uh, Harris. Delivery and the score moving along very nicely to 44 without loss. The strike rate is at uh, his strike rate. Carabos is over 100. And the partnership now 44 of 33. That's short and he's hammered that. All the way across for another big six. Fantastic striker of the ball. Yeah, not the length. Not the length, short. And it's just belted over the roof. That's the biggest six of the tournament thus far. It's found and dropped. Thought he had it for a moment. And hard luck for Mohamed Amin because he's produced a much better over his John for just one run and should have got the breakthrough there. It was the easiest of catches for the wicketkeeper. He was going in the wrong direction. It's a good comeback over from uh, Mohamed Amin. Unfortunately, the wicketkeeper has grasped the most easiest of catches. He was going in the wrong direction and that perhaps the reason why he didn't get behind that quickly enough. No ball, free hit, six runs. He's warming up. Over the shed where they keep all the garden uh, tools and the grass cutters and stuff, but that's gone uh, perhaps maybe even into uh, the soccer field next door. Let's have a look where that's landed. Oh, that's big. Oh, oh he's neat on the leg side, Hussein Manak. He's just neat on the leg side for more. Deep square leg is pretty square and he's very deliberately 
swivel around to get this ball as fine as you possibly can. Good cricket. Lovely placement as well. This one is slapped uh, in front of square. Oh, the ball spinning. The ball spinning. And uh, the fielder down there, Jelly, unfortunately, didn't account for the spin. And uh, as that ball spun, and when you square the wicket, it's so important as that ball gets hit. Have a, have a look at this. It's spinning behind square. Always does. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, he didn't factor that in. And it's beat him. Angled that. Karaba Modisa was already halfway through. He's interested. He's interested in a second. Oh, there's a fumble. Mudise wants a third. Will he want a fourth? Mudise. Said. Wow, he's and they three. get the fourth. Wonderful stuff. This is good running. And sloppy from uh, Eswatini. Skipper is not going to be happy. At On his all. haunches. His partner, Amir Karabu, says, Are we not done yet, mate? On your feet. What do you say? Mid wicket. One bounce and it's four more. Brilliant hit. It's a length ball and he's uh, hit this really well. Picked it up nice and early as well. That's what happens. The first ball was a boundary. Will this be taken? <laughs> It ends the fun, it ends the party for Karabo Mudisa, but he's done the damage up front with his partner. And Botswana lose their first wicket for 91. So the big man, Karabo Mudise. There we go. He's got under this one. He's uh, made no attempt to hit it down. He's certainly trying to swing for the heels and deposit the ball onto the grass embankment. And he just hasn't got enough onto that one. It's a longish boundary. Good effort there, big man. Karabo Mudise goes for 38 of 31. Well played. 91 for one. They've laid the platform for Tortiana Chose. And see if they can even quick single. Very well run. Well, beautifully played, Chose. You waited. You waited on the back foot and he just carves it nicely. No ways. No, no. He's just fielded beautifully down at deep square leg, and this one has just gone through the hands. Yeah, Safwan had to cover a bit of ground. This is well played. Nice and late as well. You can see that backspin. The ball's moving away from the fielder down there. Oh, uh, no, again. Down the leg side, and that's a well played 50. If you needed an example of how to open an innings and go about your business, there it is. A hundred up with the ball for Botswana. Well played, young man. 50 of 35 balls. It's a healthy strike rate. And uh, have a look at this. He loves that area. Swings hard. Natural ability and lovely. Good hands, good eyes. Raises his bat to the change room. And why not? The second 50 of the tournament. Goes wide outside of Stamp. He just drills it through extra cover. Beautiful shot. Tatiana Chose. Get through the line of this ball. Beautiful shot. He's really thrown everything at it. Lovely extension of the arms as well. The man on the deep extra cover boundary is quite square. So this has been hit firmly. Naturally, you feel you're going to get the best out of the surface if you bowl first. Down on one knee. That will always be a beautifully played cricket shot. Exquisitely timed. Beautiful shot. He's extended his arms. Lovely technique shown here. He's so strong in that area. Yeah, that's very well played. He's, he's a natural hit of the ball. Um, Ami said. Not this time around. Not this time around. To his demise. An area where he's looked sharp, but this time around it's fuller from Landman. If you miss it, chances are there's a good chance it could be LBW, and I think this looked a good shout. Let's have a look. So the key thing is the length. Might not have been the perfect line because he was setting up once again. That's a good decision, I reckon. Pretty plumb in front. It's hit him in line. And uh, 
So Amir Sayed, he goes for 55 of 38 deliveries. It's a well-played innings, great start for Botswana. They now 112 for two. Valentine Bazo, captain yet to come out. They still need to continue ticking it over. They can't afford to be reckless. They still space a few balls just to knock it around a bit. This one was straight on the stumps, not quite picked up at Cow Corner. And so that's four more. What he's probably thinking, if he's missed this, what were my chances of LBW? But that a good hit. Oh, that's really hit very hard. I mean, there was so much of time to pr produce that stroke. And uh, Tatatiana has come out there with uh, clear intentions from the moment he's come in. He's run well between wickets and anything short or pitched up, he's hit. Yeah, Haris Rashid is not happy. You can see he probably wanted the man square or he feels that was an opportunity for a catch. Change those fielders. And this time he's hit square, right? It's still going to be four, so he's disappeared again. A fitter fielder would have taken the previous one, perhaps even made it a catch. But that's just the bowler making excuses. He's bowled badly and he's under lots of pressure. He's already conceded 35 runs in two and a half overs. He needs to get it right. Beautiful stroke. Played it nice and late. He's hit the cap perfectly here. Behind square on the offside. There's two men behind square in that area. But he's really played this late. And the placement has been spot on and perfect. Under tremendous pressure, as you say, Hussein. And the bowler himself. This is a beautifully executed stroke. Don't take it away from uh, Tatutuane. Beautiful positioning as he played that and found the gap as well. Wesley giving it everything he's got and now a full <laughs> toss. It's up in the air. Two fielders converge. Ahmed Amin pulls out of uh, the possibility of a catch. But really, this is uh, poor bowling. With uh, Tatuyani really looking the part. Now there's a fielder under this one and uh, finally a wicket and celebration for Mankova. He's just come on and picked up the wicket. First delivery of the 16th over. And Valentine Mbazo clearly sent in to try and up the ante. Unfortunately, makes a mistake with this short delivery. He was already committed down the pitch, at least two meters, and not in a position to play any stroke in the end. That's all about Vajele. Now, the skipper. Krabo Mutlanka comes into bat. Taking rather long to finish this over as Mankova picked up a wicket off the first ball. Now this is clipped and it just goes beyond the fielder who's missed just this app completely. Four more runs. Not easy for the bowlers either because when the chances do come like this one and uh, unfortunately they don't get taken, they don't get snaffled and uh, a frustration builds. Oh, that's big. That's high and handsome, and it's going to be deposited into the stands. Magnificent stroke play we've seen, and that's taken him to 50 of just 23 balls with seven fours and the six to boot to take him to the 50. Very sure-footed, very sure of the way he gets, goes about his batting. That's beautifully timed. That should beat the fielder. I mean, gives up the chase. Yeah, full toss, not a great delivery, but then have a look at this. Naughty in the infield there, that's gone straight through him. That's not going to be good enough, I'm afraid. Oh, this is it. Hussein. This is a glorious hit. Straight down the ground, one bounce into the boundary. Four runs. And now these two batsmen really enjoying themselves in conditions on this third day pitch, which I must say has improved remarkably from a betting point of view. And that's a good clean hit. That's up, top edge, but uh, there's nobody in this area, and I'm afraid that's not going to... Uh, that's landing in no man's land, so to speak, but good running. They've come back for three, brilliant running. Short delivery, he's got under this one. There's a fielder under this one as well, but it's going to clear him by about a meter or two. That's gone all the way for six. Jill is bold. Uh, a back of a length delivery, and uh, Shose has got hold of this beautifully. Just cleared the boundary. 
bowled him. Tatiane looking to continue to up the ante. This is exactly what we were talking about just a few overs back. He's holed out. He's rather disappointed, but this has been an entertaining innings. Ooh. Sure, say well played. 60 of 28. That's a brilliant innings and wonderful strike rate too. Been looking for those 18 runs. That's a slower delivery. Feel it just manages to uh, deal with that awkward bounce. Keeps it in and they run through for two. There we go. Four runs down the leg side. This is well played. He's helped it along. Just got enough on it. A little leg glance. He's trying to probably get more bat onto it, but that was good enough. Finer the better because that short fine leg is up in the circle. Just trying something different is uh, Ariel Butt. We know we saw him earlier on in his uh, opening spell, bowling good seam up. Keep moving around every ball. That's through the gap and he's going to get four. Beautifully timed. Lovely open blade. Have a look at this. He just opens the blade of the bat. He's very strong in that area. And he's uh, placed this ball perfectly. I also find it interesting that he's, he's uh, got three of his fielders deep on the lakeside boundaries. And it, t captains tend to protect the lakeside boundaries, but really they should be protecting all of the boundaries. Now the inside edge to just uh, add salt to the wound. It goes all the way off the inside edge for four. That's the perfect delivery. It's exactly where you want it, but oh, the inside edge misses the stumps, misses the keeper, and runs away for four runs. So, uh, yeah, when it's not going your way, it's not, I'm afraid. Where will Jelle bowl this? Oh, there's a possibility of an LBW here, and eventually given out. So Jelle will pick up his third. It'll be good for him. The fact that his team has conceded 205 runs of with the five wickets that have fallen, he'll be very pleased with his performance out there today. But Botswana clearly in uh, the pawn seats here, having delivered the uh, blow with the bat already. And it's a massive challenge for the uh, Swatini. And it's not going to be the easiest. So uh, Vino out LBW for four of seven. And Carabo stays not out on 29 of 13 with uh, five handsomely scored boundaries. Batting scorecard, 55 for me, say it right at the top of the order. Karabo Mudise, 38 of 31. That healthy strike rate right at the top of the order. And then Shose promoted to come in at 3, 60 of 28. Healthy strike rate of more than 200. And then uh, Karabo Mutlanka, the skipper, 29 not out of 13 balls, took it through right to the end. Those are the partnerships, Aslam. First wicket, 91 of 64 deliveries. Got them off to a wonderful start. Remember, they lost the toss and uh, were put into bed. So, in a way, perhaps maybe a good toss to lose. Valentine and uh, Shawsey, 34. Yeah, the bowling, not much to talk about. Just good to see that Wesley Lundman and... Moncobo Jele have picked up wickets, two and three respectively. The rest of the economy rate, well, certainly nothing to celebrate. So there's the target for Eswatini, a massive 206 runs in 20 overs. Welcome back to Benoni in South Africa, where we're happy to tell you the weather has really cleared from uh, mist and fog early this morning to bright sunshine, and we were brightened by a fantastic innings, 205 for five from the Botswana team. So this is the target after that imposing total of 205. Eswatini are going to need 206 in their 20 overs. Muloki Muketsi, Mohamed Amin opening the innings. And he's gone for the big one. He's timed this. It's gone over the top. One bounce into that mid-wicket fence for four. And takes the opportunity with the over-pitch delivery. So he's middled that. And that's why it's carried quite a way through for that first boundary. And the first runs on the board for Iswatini. Poteng Maposa. That's a good straight delivery. Now, I've picked up something here, Hussein Why He would find it difficult to find uh, direction. And there's a run out. He was following through with the ball. It was defended by a batsman, was Mohamed Amin. And a direct hit means the first wicket falls. A rather dismal way to be dismissed. 
disappointing for Mohamed Amin and Eswatini have lost their first wicket. Muketsi exacting that run out. So four of six. So this is what happened. It was just, just defended. He was almost halfway through and uh, the fielder short in picked up. And the call did come from the striking batsman that it was not on. So uh, premeditated to run through and uh, he's paid the ultimate price. That's a neat little clip over the top. But this time he's out. Not much pace on that particular stroke. He just got his wrists into play. So 11 for two after two. And that's another soft, disappointing dismissal. This time the captain. Caught by Makhale for two. He's tried to uh, clip this off his pads. Somewhere over the leg side and didn't quite middle it. The ball just uh, couldn't get over that mid on fielder and he'll be disappointed, the captain. So Tarun Sandeep, can he turn on the taps here for Eswatini? Another inside edge running away for four. They need a bit of luck going their way, Eswatini. Chinese cut, French cut. Now that's a good clean hit because it was a full toss. The offer was there and he's grabbed it with two hands. Ball lands and stops just inside of that uh, long off boundary. So two runs taken. And that's a good firm hit, but there's a fielder. Full oh, toss and this toss. is hit away. Deep back with square leg, four runs, not a great delivery from Amir, a little naughty. And I wonder if he's got maybe a little injury on that finger because he did have the plaster, but uh, either way, that's not a great delivery. Freebie, as they call it, buffet ball. <laughs> with that momentum all the way through. So the captain into the attack, Karabo Mutlanta. Oh, he's got him. Oh, no, it's dropped. Straight to the skipper, and he puts it down. That's a rare sight in the skipper making a mistake. He's just such a fine cricketer. It was, strike, it was struck quite hard. So this was hit straight to him, hit height. Should have been a, a simple uh, 9 to 5 catch that for the skipper. He's uh, such a good cricketer. Maybe he just took it too easy, you feel. That's a good hit. Again, he's not running. Again, he's not. He stood and wasn't running, but he's fortunate that this has managed to sneak past the fielder out there on the long on of long off boundary. But uh, had that been safe, for example, again, he would have missed out on another run, but he's hit this well. Lovely shot over extra cover. Here we go. Have a look at that. Not too far away. Oh, there's a cheeky single, but... Uh, Safwan was through. Has he been given out? He has. 39 for three. We'll get a side on view here. He hit it into the gap. He was looking for the run. The call did come from the non-striker. But uh, that's a good decision by the square leg umpire. No need to go to the third official. And that's a good lofted hit. This time he certainly won't need to run because it's a firm stroke into the gap. He seems to favor the offside. He loves this stroke in particular. Off spinner with the spin. And that's not the easiest shot in the world to play. Misunderstanding. Oh, this is high. Now, will somebody get under it? Two fielders converging, but none of them managed to get under it. It's just one of those balls that uh, lands in the middle of the triangle. Down on one He's hit this well. Ball up. well. One bounce before the fielder out there. Christian Forbes. Prize of catch it. Oopsie. And they turn down the second. Oh, hit firmly. Good effort by uh, Mutlanka to try and see if he can get a hand to that. Doesn't. It's a single down to long off. Oh, oh beautiful. beautiful. 
turn, bounce, spin. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, hello. That's big. That's big. And that's six runs. Going fuller this time around and straying on that leg side and just opens up that front leg and targets mid wicket area. Top edge, up in the air, captain underneath it. Karaba Mutlanka makes no mistake. That's their fourth. Tarun Sandeep, 22 of 31. Harris Rashid, and you're better. The required run rate is over 21 now. Top edge has gone high, but it's going to land safely. Deep backward square leg running in. And just be the single. Get him. Get him. This one's drilled down the ground. Doesn't have the legs, there's two fielders. And he drops short. That's a lovely effort from Silas. It really was a good effort. He went, committed to it. Hey, there's the stumping. There's the stumping. A batter not walking. Eventually well, well, he now does. He is, but I saw I saw the umpire signalling for the third umpire to have a look at it. But it looks like the batter's walking now. Wait a bit. I don't think he saw the square leg umpire signalling. Oh yes, he's out. <laughs> Clearly out. Christian Forbes, 14 of 25. Needed to be a lot more better than that. 73 for 5. Ujefa Changaria. The new batter. Okay. Early signs. Clear intentions. Easy as you like. Looks like an effort ball, trying to give it as much flight as possible, but it's just hit with the angle beautifully over extra cover for four. Good to play elsewhere. Changed provinces, I think it was. Shemi, one bounce on, excellently fielded. But they do come back for two. Do they? Ew, do they? Do they? Was it in the air? Now, looking to play the sweep shot across the line. The keeper's under this one, and uh, he's completed a very good catch again, Bazo. That is uh, Drew's second wicket. Yeah, the spinners is really just doing the job now for the captain, putting his fielders where exactly he wants, which then allows the bowlers to give it all the flight they want, take pace away, down on one knee, top edge. And such has been the case this entire morning. And now uh, Wesley Lundman. All the way to come and assist his uh, partner at uh, Long on, and this one's belted hey, over the bowler. This is uh, going to be four. Anything pitched up. The Sartini players have looked to go big. Lost his shape, but full effect. How do I go about scoring my runs? Again, it's a lofted stroke over the top of that inner ring. <laughs> lovely, <laughs> lovely <laughs> one-handed and a good arm. That's a good arm. From our angle, it looked very close, but here from this particular picture, oh, well out. Bales out of the slot and he's uh, a good eight to 10 centimeters short. There's the signal. That's the seventh wicket, 90 for seven. Hit two boundaries. Not the worst of strike rates, but the runs needed to be a lot more than that. Really nothing else to do but to try and get those boundaries going. But a slight misjudgment in taking the second run, but an excellent throw nonetheless. Hitting the back leg on that occasion. Now plays across the line. And there's a fielder under this one and yeah. completes the catch. No panic at all. Drew's got another one. He's celebrating. He always does. Silas under that ball. I liked how he judged it, judged it, paused. One step back, sets himself up underneath it. Judgment is key in that area. Well positioned and cleanly taken. Another outstanding performance by Drew. 48 now. 
49. Chele loses his footing, finds the edge, some giggles behind the stumps, and he picks up two. It's beautifully played over extra cover. Won't have the feet to get to the boundary, but they'll come through for two. And he drags it on. Losika picks up, like all the other bowlers in his side. He picks up his first, that's the ninth, 96 for nine. And Wesley Landman tucks his bat under his arm, three for three. Musika, one of those tall bowlers that have been so impressive. I've been emphasizing the fact that you need to know the short delivery and the over pitch delivery or the good length delivery. Am I playing front foot? Am I playing back foot? Over committing yourself early on. And now, Umer Qasim. Next in. Mango Bacele. Mango Bacele. Walks around his stumps to just check how far his middle stump has gone back. Balakrishnan, first ball, ends matters for Eswatini, who falls short of 100, 102 in their first outing, 98 today, as Aslam has just said, they were never in it. Three from six, well, Botswana winning by 107 runs, that is a massive victory margin in T20 cricket. And a massive win, as you say, six by 107 runs. So both Botswana and Malawi picking up resounding victories. And this will certainly help their run rate by having scored 205 for five. Made all of the difference. This is the scorecard of the uh, Eswatini team. Just 22 for Tarun Sandeep. But really, there was not much else to uh, write home about as far as the betting was concerned for our African neighbors. And there was really no chance for even gathering any partnerships together. They were out, they were six for one, and that continued. 28 of 30, and then 28 of 39. Tarun was involved in both of those partnerships, and then all single figures all the way down. So a rather disappointing performance for Eswatini. A look at the bowling efforts. Smolo Kimukwezi, one for 23. Poteng Maposa, one for 10. Lusika Mahale, one for 14. But Druv Mysuria, stand out once again in his four, taking up three wickets for 20 runs. And that's the match summary. So Botswana, as we're saying, a huge total. The best so far of the tournament, 205 for five, with contributions all the way through. And then, uh, as we've just mentioned, Eswatini, not much else to talk about. Winning by 107 runs, Botswana.